It's nothing and it's everything. The adventure is not knowing what's going to happen next. Do you know what I mean? It's accepting that you don't have control of the future, that all you have control of is now, make the most of now. So every step that I take is not calculated and thought of. It's just I, I put my body into that position and I adapt to it. When you think ahead in the future, it prevents you from being in the moment now. And when you're in the moment is when you are able to do things that other people you know, can't understand or, or put the finger on, you know? You know, you might not have tomorrow, do you know what I mean? It's the way I see it, like, I mean, you know, less time full on condition for the future and more time just enjoying the, the fact that you've got another day, really. Just in, in the world in general, imagination and creativity has just been lost. It's been, it's been stripped away from us over history and has been slowly fed back into the world that we live in through computer games and stuff like this. And that's why, you know, kids are so addictive, you know, addicted to games because, you know, that's a, it's a way to achieve, an easy way to achieve. So a lot of people that would be watching, they don't realise that, you know, I'm really, I'm, I'm using my body to really, really battle against, obviously, the, the total physical of this world. I used to do drugs, used to do all these things. And then one day I saw a guy do a wall flip in the street. And uh, straight away I was drawn in. Didn't know why. So at the time it was like, yeah, I want to learn how to do that. It was the, that individual and the way, of, the way he looked at life. And I never knew then, but I, I know now that that's what it was. It was a way of, for me to break out of this mold, this you know, uncontrollable system that I was in, in order to find truth. I don't do it to show off. I mean, I do it maybe to wake someone up or to, to, you know, for them to ask the question, why are you doing this? And then that gives me then the opportunity to speak to them and tell them the reason why I do this. I mean, the, one of my aims is to help people to realize that, you know, that parkour as a tool is so powerful and it can change so many people's lives, really, so, yeah. I found, you know, what I've been looking for through parkour, which is our relationship with God, uh, and I feel that, it's now with that responsibility that, and, and position that I have in the parkour community to be that good example and pass on the things that I've gained over the years, really. Confidence isn't, isn't gained over time of practice. It's, it's like confidence is gained when you realise that you choose your own path. You choose to fall, you choose not to fall. Just that outlook on life helps me to be more free myself. Parkour is a tool that can be used for so much good, you know what I mean? And it's just for people to become aware of that before it gets too late and to, and to the point where parkour becomes completely physical. It becomes just competition or, you know, about making money and the message is lost. If you're afraid of falling, you fall because you're afraid. Everything is choice.